Never a bad time when Dave King and the gang are in town. AXS.com is where you want to go for tickets, info, anything I might have left out. September 15th at the Agora. Two tickets here for you to see Flogging Molly. Caller 10. Good luck. 216-578-1007 or 800-348-1007. Summertime means beers, barbecues, and fishing the occasional drunk friend out of the lake while he searches for his arm. Hey, buddy, you find it? This is the Alan Cox Show. Got another trip to Vegas for you here in about four or five minutes. We're doing our iHeartRadio Music Festival out in Vegas in a few weeks. About three weeks from today will be the beginning of fall, and then we'll get you right out to Vegas. The Foo Fighters and Fall Out Boy and Public Enemy and a lot, lot more. Metallica set the one-day record. Out at SoFi. Taylor Swift just said it, and Metallica just uh, beat Taylor Swift. But it is one night. I mean, Taylor <laughs> Taylor Swift is doing like, you know, Eight shows five yeah, weeks of shows or whatever. But, I mean, Metallica beat Taylor Swift for the uh, L.A. SoFi Stadium attendance record. The venue has got 70,000 seats. But if you've been to Metallica over the past few years, they basically have created this stage in the round last time i saw him i was i was on the floor around the stage there at the romo fijo and so they can fit a lot more people around the stage what they call their snake pit area and metallica is doing this tour where they're doing fridays and sundays they're doing two nights in every city they play different opening bands different set list we're sending people to detroit this fall go to wmms.com still a chance for you to get to the metallica weekend in Detroit, but it's Pantera and Avenged Sevenfold and, you know, a bunch of different bands opening for them. 156,000 tickets were bought for their two-night run out there in L.A. Of course, you know, they have a very, very impressive road crew, too. They have 87 trucks on this Metallica tour. And whatever you think of Metallica, you really do have to hand it to a band that has been around for that long and is still drawing those kinds of crowds. You know, Taylor Swift did a six-night run at SoFi Stadium and obviously sold it out. Uh, she sold uh, a total of 420,000 tickets Good God. for her, her run in, uh, in Los Angeles, but uh, Metallica at least has the single-night record now. They're at SoFi Stadium selling uh, 78 thousand tickets for the run two sold out nights there in la so very exciting let me get you to las vegas here it is um our iheart radio music festival and um it's going down the 22nd and 23rd of next month and it's a uh, fallout boy and it's foo fighters and public enemy and cheryl crow and lenny kravitz and a lot of great bands are going to be there we'll fly you in a pal out put you up and throw you $1,000 to do with whatever you see fit there uh, in Vegas. So listen closely and good luck. Now, your chance at a trip to our 2023 iHeartRadio Music Festival. Text the nationwide keyword WIN to 200-200. You'll get a confirmation text and info. Standard data and message rates apply in this nationwide contest. That's WIN to 200-200. I heard from one of our bureau chiefs up in Canada. If you listen to the show on iHeartRadio and you're outside Ohio, tell me where, because I like to know where people are listening to the show. Uh, if you're new to the program, that's what this map is back here. All of the people who listen on the app. Uh, Ryan listens in Portland, Maine. Aaron and Scott are bureau chiefs in Dallas. Uh, Nick is in North Bay, Ontario. I was reading about how um, Canada is warning travelers about coming to the United States. 
uh, because of so many anti-LGBTQ legislations uh, that are in uh, various states. So basically warning people, hey, if you're a gay or bisexual or a transgender traveler, uh, just be careful. Wherever Now, I would imagine if you're traveling to the states from Canada, you're probably not going to Alabama. <laughs> but uh, there are enough states that have enacted uh, these meaningless laws. Uh, but they're not meaningless to the people they affect, obviously, because hate crimes are up because of all this anti-gay nonsense on the right this hysteria. And so the Canadians are letting people know, hey, FYI, and it's not like it's, it's news that we've kept to ourselves. They're just letting people know, hey, here's what's going on. You know, if you're traveling, just be smart. And I've seen some people go, well, that's an overreaction. We're not Saudi Arabia. But that's what a lot of right wingers in this country want, by the way. That's the kind of country they want, is women with no autonomy. They want it to literally be illegal to be gay, that kind of stuff, right? So One religion. Yeah, they have such a yeah. hard-on for a theocracy in this country. So it's not really an overreaction. No, we're never going to get to a place like that where it's fully, like, you know. But those people very openly want that kind of country. So, you know, they want to almost get Ben Shapiro's wife wet. <laughs> almost. So uh, our Canadian bureau chiefs, they're also mad because our cruise ships are just using Canada as a toilet. And that's just not nice. You know, one of the biggest routes, one of the most popular cruise ship routes are Alaskan cruises. Did you go on one of those, Mary? No, we did. You've um, been to Alaska. You didn't go to an Alaska. Yeah, but I cruise. went for comedy. So yeah. we went to like a nature center. <laughs> well, because Canadian regulations are so lax up there that it leaves a lot of incentive for cruise ships to take a certain route to Alaska. But what that does is it lets them dump all this all this waste and junk. Like poop. Well, that's in there. Yeah. Off British Columbia. And so the cruises to Alaska are like the most heavily booked American kind of cruise. And so you're really? going you're going along the Canadian West Coast. Well, think about it. I mean, it's a US state, mm -hmm. right? But it's so out there. That And people obviously talk about, oh, it's gorgeous, it's a beautiful cruise, we had a great time. And uh, so, yeah, they say that it's the number one uh, booked cruise in this country. But you go along that Canadian West Coast just for a few days. Dropping turds all along the way like Hansel and Gretel so you can find your way back home. Yeah, and can, one... Uh, all the turds back. This one lady's <laughs> quote made me laugh, but it was also so inherently sad. She goes... It's a terrible way to say goodbye to a community that you've just visited. <laughs> so long. Here's all our poop. Smell you later. Yeah. Thanks so much for your Canadian hospitality. Mm -hmm. Here's all our dookie in your water. More than eight and a half billion gallons of pollution dropped from U.S. cruise ships off the coast of Canada. That's the ships on of, their way to Alaska. There's so much more poop on a cruise ship because of the buffets. The people are eating <laughs> so much. Well, and if you see, cru cruise companies will say, no, 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 we have massive infrastructure in these ships to recycle and to do all this. And you go, listen, you might have that, but what's a lot easier? To pay for that? Companies don't want to pay for anything. No. So they go, what's easier, that or to, or to pull a Dave Matthews Band bus over the Chicago River mm -hmm. and just pull the plug? So a lot of uh, Canadians, particularly those people in British Columbia, are very, very upset by this. There's a perverse incentive to treat Canada like a toilet bowl. And so uh, dumping a lot along the Canadian coastline.
So imagine, you know, you're out there in, and listen, there's no coastline that's pristine anymore, but still, you're out there and you're trying to enjoy uh, the coastline, you know, you see an American cruise ship going by, you're like, hey, and then... There's a streak of uh, behind them. Just bilge water coming mm-hmm. out. And, ugh, yes. Gross. So, uh, yeah, they are none too pleased. Because a cruise ship business just wants to be in the cruise ship business. They don't want to be in the taking care of the environment business. They don't want to be in the taking care of you business. Remember the cruise ships, like when coronavirus blew up, they're like, well, we can still go out, though, right? I mean, we, we got <laughs> that big we, of a deal. We're booked for the next six years straight. We can go out. Guy holding a sign that says, poop is for emojis, not the ocean. <laughs> Listen, as long as you haven't lost your Canadian sense of humor, and again, I don't know what that is, but I assume it has to be a thing. It's like Jim Carrey and yeah, uh, Norm Seth McDonald. Rogen, and yeah, of course. There's some good ones. But I don't know if they're, well, those are funny Canadians. I don't know if there's like a trademark I think there's like some gallows humor in Canada since it's it was like they part of the like, empire for a long time. They don't like self-deprecation from what I've heard from comics who perform up there. They're more like absurdist, silly. They'll handle dark, but as long as you're not like talking bad about yourself. Well, it seems like they do like self-deprecating comedy. I, mean, I don't know. Yeah, maybe not. But uh, Call ca- me back so we can- Canadians, yeah, I mean, kind of comedically like anything else. You, you don't take yourself too seriously and. But, uh, boy, that's pretty gross. Yeah, that's... But you're on your way out, and you're like, oh, my God, it was so beautiful. We saw whales, and... Ooh, what is that out there? Is that... It looks like a shadow under the water. Yeah. Oh, my God, is that oh, an, or- is that is that an orca breach? breaching? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we just dumped all of our bilge water. Oh, oh that's, that's terrible. So, uh, yeah, you're killing all the wildlife. Oh God! Didn't even think about the buffets. Oh, those those toilets, and that's just human waste. You know, you got all the other stuff. You got regular garbage, you know, packaging and wasted food and all that crap. Oh, well, they can't be dumping the garbage, right? I, it says they're dumping uh, everything. Everything? That's not everything. Good. Don't be throwing stuff in the ocean. That's what it hurts the turtles. The passengers who love the Alaska cruises do not even realize that the ships are polluting our pristine parts of the world, said a fisherman on the Canadian border. Canada is one of the most stringent requirements, has the most restringent, uh, stringent requirements for these type of discharges mm. in, <laughs> in the world. Waving from the back as the ship empties out its tank is nothing I like to see, said the fisherman. Oh, God. Thank you so much. Because the people on the deck, they don't know. No. It's just the people on the shoreline are watching a cruise ship go by and uh, dumping all of their can't they have it All their poo. spray underwater at least so they don't see it spraying into the ocean? <laughs> well, they might be, but yeah. that's gonna that much is really gonna cast yeah. like a big oily shadow. <laughs> Mike from the east side says that's why the East Coast cruises go to the Dominican Republic. What? To dump their poop, not on Canada. Ah. Alan, that's why Canada will always be number two when compared to the United States. <laughs> oh. oh. Take off, hoser. I mean, don't put your poop hose in <laughs> in our water. Poop hose. Oh, man. Could you imagine if it's just a hose? Can you imagine if an entire cruise ship, if their waste removal system just constituted like a... Shop back? No, like a regular... Garden hose. They just have it <laughs> hanging out, you know, and then the whole way they go through, it's all being forced through a standard, if you'll pardon the pun, garden variety hose that you could go buy. I just bought one the other day. I went over to a local home improvement store and bought myself a new length of hose and a new, uh, I needed a different kind of sprinkler. As we move into the fall, I need a different kind of sprinkler. Alan, I'm taking a cruise to Nova Scotia in a few weeks. I'm going to eat Mexican every 
and then leave them something they will never forget. Representing all the Americas. There you go. Right. Uh, I'm going to eat Mexican every night. I think the joke's going to be on you if you do that. You play yourself, play. Yeah, you got to be careful on the poop cruises because once them toilets start backing up, then you're in trouble. Cruise ships use the lowest-grade diesel, and it burns dirty, somebody else says. Mm. Al, I was just in Toronto. They had a big protest along the lakefront about the poo dumping. Yeah, I mean, it's, um, you know, I've been on a couple of cruises, and I'm fine. I don't ever need to be on another cruise. Very first one, that's why I don't understand cruisers, people that, like, love it. Like, yeah, live it, thing. yeah. I'm like, the very first one we ever went on, it was cool, because I'd never been on one. Gwen had been on a bunch with her family when she was younger, but I had never been on one. So the first one, I was like, oh, this is cool. And the second one, you go, oh, it's fun. By the third one, you're like, oh, th- we got to get the hell out of here. I'm afraid of open water. I know you are. Like, That's why you'll never go on a cruise. Closed water. Close that water. Closed Please water. close my water. Mm-hmm. We've got to take a break here. Bill is on his way to Columbus. I'm out of here. Come see me tonight if you're in Columbus. Woodlands Tavern. Woodlands Tavern.